Good evening, friends of the interwebs. This is Mathis Starcraft. If you didn't know, now you know. And it looks like we're going to be doing a sweet little game between, ooh, Yellow Zerg, Complexity Cats, and our red Protoss, White Ra. This is going to be a best of five. It is a show match between the two, so uh, we'll see how long, uh, how many games they go. And show matches are always, always fun as you see some cool, cool strategies come out. They're always looking at, to basically put on a show for everybody who's watching. Um, they want it to be fun, so um, they expect some crazy, crazy stuff. And it looks like it is going to be, the first game is going to be on Metalopolis. It is the MLG version of Metalopolis, and the way you tell is this little building right here. So it looks like he's going to be throwing down right away. Um, White Rod putting down a pylon down at his natural, uh, indicative of an early expand build. Perhaps we'll see Forge first. Uh, it's one of the most, uh, one of the stronger builds of uh, of Protoss against Zerg is fast Forge expand build. It allows you to cannon their natural um, if they were able to find you fast enough. And since this is MLG, he knows that it's not going to be close ground position. So um, he does know that while that current complexity rather cats um, cannot spawn over here because they're just short ground distances he can only spawn here or here and since he now knows that he's not here he knows he's gonna be over here and uh, if he does decide to go forge um, then he can cannon off that natural while C complexity cats here I'm just gonna call him cats it looks like he's just gonna go for a very typical build kind of a little early greedy build it looks like he's gonna try and go for a 15 hatch but right when uh, that probe is marching on down there so he's gonna be able to drop this uh, doesn't look like he's gonna try to pile on block whatsoever so we'll see what happens there he is dropping that forge now in fact um, so he is looking to do that that fast forge uh, into expand build which is again so so strong uh, you can can it up you can get a really good economy going it's gonna force the zerg into doing one of two things he either needs to um, he needs to grab a third base very very quickly or he needs to get very very fast roaches and punish you for expanding and it does look like he's gonna be dropping a pylon in the back so Cannons is definitely going to happen. The Forge just finishing up, so expect him to drop quite a few cannons, but only cancel, uh, but cancel most of them, um, and uh, use the uh, basically as uh, distraction tactics. It's going to force Cats here to pull a bunch of drones. Looks like he might be able to handle this just fine, but it's a lot of drones. So even if he is forced to cancel all of his uh, cannons and really not be able to get anything done. Um, he has forced cats to pull off a lot of drones and stop that mining and he in fact is looks like he's gonna be giving up here pulling back a lot of his drones these cannons will in fact finish so he needs to cancel this hatchery if he's gonna let it go um, he you see yeah he does cancel those two and right when it's about to hatch he canceled it recovering those minerals kind of letting it go to the last second forcing duck load uh, or should I say white raw to at least let one can finish and have those minerals invested and in fact all the while he was doing that it looks like cats himself is going to be putting a hatchery in the main of white raw does white raw know about this it does not look like it he has no idea this is in here so already a crazy shenanigans are happening and cats is going to be expanding straight to the gold knowing full well that cats uh, that White Rod does not have any army to speak of, so can't really do anything but attempt to cannon here. And uh, he is going to be sending Zerglings, so hopefully those Zerglings get there in time. Are going to be able to prevent this probe from uh, dropping into cannons. He just needs his pylon to finish, and once his pylon's all set, he can drop cannons. He isn't going to be able to drop any cannons at all. Looks like, oh, that Zergling there. Hero Zergling stopping it just barely. And now that uh, pylon is going to be just free kill for our friend Katz here and he's going to be getting away with this gold that has actually put him in a quite a lucrative position and especially since this hasn't looks like it hasn't been discovered yet and if he can just get this mind up he can get full saturation it looks like he's going to be dropping an early roach warren so is going to go early roaches here and going to continue mining that gas if this hatches before he knows about it which it does he can immediately start pumping out units and right when he goes to expand he's going to see it he's going to be like oh crap he's going to notice the creep has really not spread that far so he knows it's going to be there uh, only a little while and immediately drop out a pylon probably gonna be dropping some cannons once it is finished just to get this hatchery down and look like cats is gonna be popping out a queen here transferring drones over to the gold so he's gonna get the saturated to get much faster minerals make sure his economy is uh, at least a uh, one step ahead of um of White Rod here. White Rod now dropping cannons. He is going to be popping out roaches. The queen is going to get out. I'm not sure um, what his plan is with this queen. Um, he is going to need to try and stop these cannons ASAP. Getting all of these uh, larvae up and running. He is going to get uh, an inject larva off, but it looks like it's going to be cornered by um, two zealots and a uh, probe. So 
before anything can be done, he is going to lose it, but he is going to lose those that Zealot there, and that, again, that Inject Larva may be worth the 150 mineral investment he has. Uh, in that queen and these roaches are going to be able to do some damage here it looks like they are going to focus it down completely ignoring it and he is going to get the kill the cancel did not go off so that was a waste of 150 minerals on white ross part and now roaches is going to be popping out going to get some kills where they can maybe getting some economy kills yes there they're going to be gunning down the probes one two three let's take a look at how many workers he has killed six seven eight nine it looks like he's going to get nine probes ten probes uh, that is a huge deficit there for White Raw, and now this this is going to be slowly whittled away by the Photon Cannon, but all the while, it is still going to have um, the, the Larva popping, Roaches popping, and even while this is going on, it does look like his gold is going to be continuing to be saturated, and uh, it does still look like White Raw is ahead in the worker count, though, so his ba the base in your base is a tactic, looks like it's working quite well, and he's going to try to pick off an Overlord here, uh, do a little bit of damage if he can, and is he going to get it? Yes, he does. It's not going to Supply block, uh, supply block him uh, for too long though as he is losing all these roaches um, very quickly but he's getting a lot of harassment done he's going straight for that worker line and again this base in your base tactic is uh, unethical you don't see it too long uh, too often it's just one of those things where sometimes you just need to scout your own base just to make sure you usually don't have to do it against a zerg you primarily need to do it against a protoss but then this is one of the cases where you need to do it um, you guarantee in the best of five you will not see this tactic again um, as you know now we know it's just to look around a little bit and enforcing all those probes way over there so delaying that mining time now he's going to try and pick off a few more stalkers almost getting that one stalker has two health left but still preventing all those probes from mining so all the while Katz is able to continually to mine and you can just see his minerals are more than he needs right now um, he has just enough to gas to continue pumping a couple of roaches here and there but now he can just focus on a purely Ling army while droning up really heavily just going to sack these guys to pick off as many stalkers as they can um, might be able to get one more but uh, the stalkers are a bit on the fast side compared to the roaches and uh, does look like he's not going to be able to do too much uh, else. The hatchery does go down. He still has one roach, um, so he may be able to go for that last uh, stalker or at least do some harassment. And it looks like he's doing so well. It doesn't even need his natural anymore. Uh, it does send a probe out there. It might have been out there. And now all links are going to be popping out. Link speed is being researched. Uh, very late research, but doesn't really need it. Has an ex extra hatchery going down. He has three uh, on gas, and that's all he's got. Uh, he does have, oh, actually, he does have six. So he has six on gas. Only needs two gas. Has a macro hatchery going down here. Has a macro hatchery going down there. So it looks like he's going to be heavy dedication to the links. Um, and it looks like he might be able to catch these stalkers out of place. A little bit of a misclick there, setting him off to the the other gold base just for a split second if he didn't have, hadn't have done that he might have been surrounded but now the link split speed has finished he's gonna go straight into the mineral line try to surround those stalkers and pick them off so he could then get the workers uh, at this point i'm not sure if white rock could come back from this so much damage was done um and getting that gold base up was awesome by cat able to really really hold that down and there's the gg uh by uh white rock they both left the game and now it looks like the announcer or the caster whoever it was is going to be sticking around here and uh just watching the carnage at the very end so quick first game very cool looks like we're gonna be in for a hell of a show guys so stick around game two will be right on up 